Welcome back to the Making the Madness YouTube channel. Sean back again for another transfer related video. This is a pretty big one because Malik Wilson, the transfer from Louisiana, is headed to Texas Tech. He was the number 14 available transfer on my board, the most recent one I did. He had 11.5 points per game as a freshman, 5 rebounds a game, and 3 assists per game. Last year as a sophomore, 12 a game, 5 rebounds, and 3 assists, 24% from deep, which is 11% worse than his freshman season. I think he's more of a 35 plus percent guy than the 24. You know, just a weird year. I don't put a ton of stock into his bad percentage last year. He's going to rebound pretty certainly in my opinion. He's a guy that's a high level athlete. He is a very smart player and he's a guy that could put up many triple doubles next season. I could see him averaging, you know, 15, 5, and 5. I mean, he's the kind of guy that's going to make noise next season no matter what and when you look at Texas Tech I'm wondering if this is a bit of a tell on what Mac McClung's future entails because Mylik Wilson's a point guard Mac McClung's a point guard so do you add Wilson if Mac McClung planned on returning I'm not sure because you also had Chandler Jacobs who is a D2 transfer from Dallas Baptist so right now the starting five probably looks like you have Malik Wilson at the 1, at the 2, you have Kevin McCuller at the 3, Davion Warren from Hampton at the 4, Chibuzo Agbo, and at the 5, Marcus Santos Silva with Adonis Arms as a 6 man, the transfer from Winthrop, a role he is very accustomed to playing. You have Chandler Jacobs next to him. Uh, you know, you, that's that's a pretty solid start. Obviously, you have Clarence Nadalne, who's a guy I think has a high ceiling. I'm very curious to see if he's going to pick up a bigger role this year, but I think he's a guy that's very well liked within that program. And you can't forget about Avery Benson or KJ Allen from East Los Angeles Community College, star of Last Chance U, uh, the basketball series edition. But, you know, as Texas Tech team right now, it's a talented roster loaded with transfers. I think Mylik Wilson in the future is going to be a really good player. He has three seasons of eligibility left, and he does it all. You can't teach some of the stuff he does. He's a high-effort guy, high energy. He's going to be a much better shooter than he was last season. He's a really good defender. He brings a lot to the table for Mark Adams next season. And Texas Tech, you know, when looking at it right now, I would say they're probably a tournament team. But like as a 10, 9, 10, 11 seed, you know, they have they have some proving to do. Because if they lose McClung, they're going to lose Shannon more than likely, I would say. Kyler Edwards is gone. So you're losing your three start leading scorers from last season. For a team that really struggled to score at times last year, obviously this team's success will be based off the defense because Mark Adams is a defensive guy. He was known as a defensive whiz behind Chris Beard's uh, system the past number of years at Texas Tech and at Little Rock. But I think Texas Tech has a talented roster, but I'm curious to see how these transfers mesh. I like Davion Warren. He's a really good wing. He's going to be a good player. I like Chandler Jacobs because of his high-level shooting ability. He brings a lot to the table off the bench. You know, there there's a lot on this team that I think could make them, you know, a top five ish uh, team uh, seed wise in the NCAA tournament but we'll have to see what ends up happening there because right now it's just easier to be skeptical because they have a new head coach who I think is going to do a tremendous job but if you do lose McClung you lose Shannon you lose Kyler Edwards there's a lot missing so I think overall we're going to see a bit of a a bit of a shift between what Texas Tech was the past few years with Chris Beard and what they're going to be with Mark Adams. And I think Mark Adams can do a tremendous job, but it's going to be a much different looking team next season. So that's why I'm a bit skeptical right now. I, But, you know, Mylik Wilson's a huge ad. He's a guy I like a ton. He was one of the best point guards remaining on the board, if not the best point guard remaining on the board. So that's a huge ad. He's going to be a big piece in the Big 12, a future all Big 12 caliber player. So that's kind of my thoughts on that one. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And until next time, have a good one.